Hi friends, hope you are doing good. Today I will explain the basic working principle of two main weapons of PyTest framework. I hope many of you can guess them, they are fixtures and hooks. I have seen many online resources where people use to show a solution to address a particular problem like how to take a command line option while running a test using PyTest. There we just need to remember those solutions with very little understanding because uh, we don't know that what they are using to, pro to solve the problem but problem got solved. It's right, the problem got solved and seems like something magic is happening behind. So many of those examples people usually use these fixtures and hooks to address that particular problem but we don't know that. We don't know but that uh, they are they actually fixtures and hooks and it seems like a uh, magic to us so we did not have any other way other than remembering those solution however here i will explain the basic principle to just considering those problem considering those situation i have faced yeah i want to explain the basic principle of those two main weapons of PyTest. First I will start with fixtures. Fixtures are method as I have shown here I will be using this uh, diagram to explain this whole thing. Fixtures is actually a method which is decorated with a PyTest.fixture okay and this PyTest.fixture decorator takes a per argument is called scope. Default scope of a fixture is a test method or test functions however it may be of class it may have a module it may be session okay so here uh, i will try to be strict into this uh, test case scope of a fixture now how a fixture works Fixture is a method but we do not need to execute that method by ourselves. How it get executed, how it is get, get activated automatically by PyTest. You just need to define the fixture's name. You just need to use the fixture name as a parameter of test case. So you are defining a test case one and the fixture one is already defined so you have to use that fixture one as a parameter of the test case one now if fixture one returns value is value one in that case you can use fixture one dot value one to get the return value of this fixture inside this test case one okay so where fixtures are defined next question is where fixtures can be defined fixtures can be defined inside the uh, test case or uh, sorry inside the test class inside test module so here i am exp i will try to say we can define easiest option is to define a fixture inside the test module where the test cases are is located and you can use that fixture into the test cases which are located on the same module now one problem may appear like uh, you have one two three and more modules there are many test cases into there into them and all of them use same fixture so you, you all of them all the test cases under the inside all the modules use or many test cases inside all the modules use the same fixtures in that case you need to define the fixture inside all the modules because whatever fixtures you have defined this module one will not be used by any any of the uh, any of the test cases which has located at module 
2 or module 3 so it will be a duplication of uh, coding so in that case you can define one module is called contest.py file it is also named as directory specific plugin so you can define a contest.py file I can create a contest.py file inside the same directory where all those modules are located and you can define your fixture inside that contest.py file so those, those fixtures can be utilized by all the, all the test cases inside all the modules now fixtures may have two portions it may have setup and one other one is tear down it there is a statement called yield you have seen many example the yield statement inside fixtures the whatever statements are written above that yield statement will be executed before the execution of its of the test cases or the scope or the, or the any test cases inside the scope of this fixture if the scope of the fixtures is module in that case it will it is above part will be executed uh, before the execution of any test cases of the module of the test module and uh, whatever statement written under the yield statement will be executed after the execution of the test cases or after the execution of the test modules based on the test module test uh, test classes all the test cases and test classes based on the scope of the fixture again i'm saying so scope of the fixtures is very important uh, that i will be explaining later later video so i think it's all to work with fixture you can uh, return a value by fixture using the uh, using that return um, value you can use that fixture dot that uh, return variable to access that value you can do some printing you can do some changes into database whatever you can do that will be that is actually needed as a prerequisite of this test case execution everything can be done using this fixture you do not need to write more states uh, more states into the, inside the test case to execute the repetitive repetitive test cases i mean repetitive states for all your test cases you need to execute you need to up your the or you can need to establish the connection with your database in that case inside all test cases you need to define that code of a code of uh, set up in the data connection to the database so you can avoid that using this fixture using a defining a fixture fixture will be uh, creating the database instance and it will return that instance you can use that fixture that instance name or whatever the value whatever the instance variable will be returning by this fixture to get the instance available inside the test case instance will be created and available while the test case is executed so this is a very big advantage you should not miss to use fixtures in your test framework now next is hook hooks is also a method or functions hook is also a functions but it's not normal function again if I want to explain hooks there are two terms one is two terms you need to recall when you need to remember one is called hook specification another one is called hook implementation hook specification is it's a specification of a particular hook function it's a specification of a hook it's not a you may have written multiple hook functions con 
considering or following a particular hook specification i think this statement can help you to understand one hook specification is written into the into this uh, framework by test framework you can use that by uh, that specification you can write multiple you can implement that special uh, in implement multiple hooks function using that specification hook specification includes working principle high level and its signatures and when the when the hooks will be executed when the hooks will be called by pytest framework at which phase of execution which phase or which stage of test execution pytest will call a particular hooks that is defined into specification and you can create or you can define a function that is called hook function uh, you can define a hook function following a particular hook specification that can be used our uh, test case execution the hook function will not be executed uh, sorry hook specification will not be executed hook functions will be executed so you need to implement that hook function now you why you can implement hook functions Hook functions can be implemented at any plugins. There may be built-in plugins, there are external plugins, there may be the contest.py files. Okay. Built-in plugins are like uh, runner, pytest, or runner, so there are external plugins are like uh, pytest as xtest, pytest as cover, pytest as uh, bdt those are external ex installable plugins and in general example we generally use to see this flow that hook are implemented into a contest.py file and that hook function is being used by the uh, by the pytest framework during the execution of the test cases okay and one more thing I would like to see here, uh, add here, like in the PyTest specific, in the hook specification, it may be a hook may use three arguments, say argument one, two, and three. But in case of while you are defining the hook functions using the hook's name, you do not need to use all the, all those arguments you may use any of any of those uh, three arguments or all three arguments any two of these three arguments based on your requirements okay this is one good thing and uh, the example we used to see in our in uh, in uh, online resources that is actually how can i take online option or uh, command line options while i am executing test cases using pytest framework in that case we use one method it's called pytest add option pytest add option which take parser as an argument this is not a function this is actually a hooks you may be surprised with that this is actually a hooks which is already defined into pytest framework with specification that is when it will be executed if it is actually executed to take the take any type of argument has been provided or any type of option has been provided by cli or not so that is defined inside the contest.py file and it takes the parser as an argument as a parser as a parameter and using the parser uh, dot add option it takes it uses the parser dot add option to you can see the example that uh, ample amount of example of this whatever I am talking about into online resources but in case of in, in contest.py file it actually does in that way it's uh, use the py, parser dot uh, parser dot add option to add the value 
to take the value into into the and do the just to be more specific we can say that uh, using the parser that add option it access the value and uh, it's stored into it's stored into config object it's an internal object of pytest and we can access that object you can access that value using the request dot config object using dot request dot config object and how we actually used to use to access that object we used to define another fixture okay we used to define another fixture which take an argument is request and we use the request dot config to get option to get that option which is actually accessed by the hook function okay and here the request is not a normal any type of normal argument or normal parameter it's also a internally defined object inside the pytest framework okay i think it's all from my end for this for today's session uh thank you for watching you will get the example i, have, I am trying to explain uh, ample amount of example with this uh, scenario in online you can try to match my statements with this this is the mainly uh, commonly used flow which we used to see uh, of, uh, hooks implementation However, hooks are implemented into the external plugins and built-in plugins that I will explain later later session. Bye for today. Thanks for watching.